Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you're new to us, welcome. And today we are on the Carnival Dream. We're in the port of Cozumel, which I don't know, you can see in the background, there's lots of cruise ships here. This is the month of March and I'm gonna take this time to show you around the Carnival Dream so you can see what it's like on this ship. So I'm on the, the top level and this is where you can find Serenity, which is the adult only retreat. That means anyone, obviously kids cannot get on this level. Just want you to know it's here because a lot of people didn't realize it was up here. It's kind of hiding. So you're gonna have to come all the way to the top and this is where it's at. So basically what this is, you've got a sauna up here and you've got a lot of covered areas that you can relax in and at the forward area, it's out in the sun, but you do have shaded areas as well. And like I said, you do have a sauna up here. So Serenity does have two levels. I was just on the top one, but you can come down one level. They do have a bar here. We're at port, so it's not open at the moment. So most of the people are off the ship, which is exactly why I'm doing this video right now. But anyway, there is some more seating and some more chairs where you can get out of the sun and away from children. Here is a look at the gym. And they have pretty much everything you would need. They do have a lot of cardio things. That's what you're going to have 90% of is going to be cardio stuff. But you do have the view of looking out the window to the beautiful scenes. They got more machines down there at the end. And if you're somebody who likes to lift weights or hit some of the other kind of equipment like I do, it's going to be on this side. Unfortunately, they don't have nearly as much over here as they do on the... Uh, cardio side of things but anyway just know that the gym's here so you can eat as much as you want and still stay fit so as we make our way around i will show you a little bit more about the water park area so the main pool area with the big screen tv where they show the movies and all that is just right over the balcony here but that's not what we're going to get to right now we're going to show you the rest of this so here is the rest of the water park for all of you excited about this part i'll go kind of slow and show you guys down through all the lanes that they have for water slides. They've got things called the drain pipe, everything else. Looks fun, like I said, haven't done it myself. Parents, you can wait around the area, so not a problem whatsoever. You wanna keep your eye on your kids. And you've got all of the side decking as well that you can sit at. So I'm gonna show you what's going on on this floor. We're gonna take it floor by floor so you know what each thing is, and again, We'll get back to this, the main area here, <laughs> the main epicenter where all the action is, just not right this second because everybody is over here in Cozumel, Mexico. So they do have a miniature golf course on this level as well. So feel free to play some miniature golf while you are here. You can check on the app that they have for the ship as for when everything is opened or closed. And the app works really well most of the time. Don't be surprised if you get some glitches and it knocks you offline several times. It's free, by the way. You can pay $5 to get a chat app so you can talk to the rest of your family via the Wi-Fi on the ship and chat with each other. Just know that that thing on the day one did not work. By day two, it did work and it does cut in and out a little bit, just so you know. So beside us, just for a size comparison, is another Carnival ship called the Carnival Paradise, which I've actually done a cruise on that before. And you can see how much bigger the Carnival Dream is than the Carnival Paradise. Bigger doesn't necessarily mean better, but I thought you might enjoy seeing a size comparison of the two ch ships. Now, if you look over the back side from the level we've been on so far, you get to the area where there's a pool and two saunas at first. We thought that this was for adults only, but it's not. So don't be surprised if you see kids over here all the time on this area. But this is here. It's a really good place to be. There's also a pizza place down below, which we'll check out whenever we get down to that level. And of course, bars nearby. Here is a shot of the big wide open decks that you could walk around on. Normally, there's a lot of these lounge chairs that are out and about. But like I said, today is a day at a port, Cozumel, so most everyone is on shore, so they've cleaned it all up. And the crews right now, we may hear some noises, they're doing some safety thing that they have to do right now, since the ship has basically very few people on it right now. 
All right, so let's see what we got going on on this floor. We've got another hot tub over here to the right. Just know that whenever everyone is on board, those things are usually slam packed full of people, mostly kids, just so you know. So here is an area for chilling out and staying out of the sun. So if you're somebody who does not enjoy getting sun, there are plenty of places for you to hide around here. Here is the main area again. So here is a shot of what it looks like. So this is again where all the action happens. So we're gonna keep on moving around and showing you everything there is on each one of these floors. All right, here we are where everything happens, the main part of the ship, the part where everyone gets in a better mood whenever they see it. Again, everybody's not here right now, but let me show you around. So over here, you've got the Blue Iguana Tequila Bar right over here. And then you've got a towel area in the back there where you can see some people. And over here is the Red Frog Rum Bar. It's, uh, we'll head right to it. So the Red Frog Rum Bar is where you can get a lot of the really frozen and fruity drinks and the drink of the day, all that good stuff you can get right here, including a bunch of beers and everything else. So that is the Red Frog Rum Bar. So let's take a look back towards the other side and see what everything looks like. They got a big screen TV that's up above. That is the one that they put the movies on at night. Last night we had the show Mission Impossible 2. So they've always got different movies that they're showing on the ship. Okay, also on this deck, they've got the Blue Iguana Cantina. So this is where you can get burritos and tacos. So they're open a lot. So just know that that is a option while you are poolside or anywhere else where you can come and get tacos and all that good stuff, all the Mexican food. And over here is where you're gonna get burgers. It's called Guy's Burger Joint, Guy Fieri, you know that show. Anyway, this is the part where we get burgers at. Now, normally this thing would just be going crazy and people would be like on a feeding frenzy right here. But again, we're at the port, so everybody is in Cozumel. So we're gonna go and check out the main dining area now. So this is one of the main dining areas. This is where you can casually have some food. This is the ice cream station over here to the right. But as you can see, they're getting it ready for everyone to get back onto the ship. So as you go through here, you're gonna spend a lot of time here. This is where you can get food most of the day and it's some of the greatest food. And I will tell you, you need to be strategic when you come here, especially in the morning. If you get here at 7.30 in the morning, you can pretty much get right to your food and sit down. But if you get here later on, it's an absolute feeding frenzy. But they got all kinds of good stuff on this ship. This is where I get most of my meals, to be quite honest, because it's just so simple and convenient. When you're hungry, you just get your food, sit down, start eating, and you got the good views everywhere. Now, when you're on the ship, you get to meet lots of people. Like this is me. She is from Bali. So the staff is very, very friendly here on the ship. So make sure you do talk to them some, find out where they're from. It is on their badge as to what country they're originally from. It is hard to read, I will tell you. But if you ask them, they'll be more than happy to tell you where they come from and you can meet some people from different countries. It's really cool. So here on the back part of it is pretty much looks like the area we were just in. They just have more different things to do like you've got the carvery where they got more carved meats in the morning this is where most of the breakfast is served so just know that all of this is back here as a matter of fact this is where their continental breakfast should be right here in this area and there is a place haven't been there yet called pasta bella there's a small sign and some stairs that go upstairs so just know if you're looking for some italian food to go upstairs to pasta bella because it's easy to miss do note at the elevators, they do have maps here so you can see exactly where you're at if you get lost, which if it's your first time cruising or even if you've been cruising for a while, it's easy to get lost. Now this is the fifth floor and on the very back of the ship you will find this place called the Burgundy Lounge. And this is where you can eat. They've got different things going on there as well, shows and everything else. I've not spent a whole lot of time in the Burgundy Lounge. This is where they also have the Comedy Club. Over here to the right, you've got a place called The Song. So let's take a look in there. So it's a place, a small venue for some entertainment. 
come back the other way and you can see the bar area over here all right and if i go over here we can see the piano bar now this piano bar of course is desolate right now let me assure you that this place is widely used and on fire at night meaning this place is just packed out the people playing the piano people watching requesting songs like crazy they have a really good time in the piano bar so don't think piano bar ooh that might be lame actually it's a pretty good time here is caliente so this is a club open a little bit later at night of course it's a dance club they do dj stuff and all kind of dance music the other night it was 70s night then it was dance music night so anyway this would be i would say the biggest nightclub type of place they have and this again is on floor number five so as we keep walking down floor five we're going to pass the sushi restaurant now this one is not free you do need to pay extra if you want to eat sushi which would be over here to the left and over here to the right is the seating for it which you can see they got really nice looking tables decorated nicely so over here to the left they've got an area for coffees and teas and things like that so this is called the well the coffee bar just so you know and if we go over here they're playing a game so i got to be kind of quiet so there's a bar here a regular bar and then over here to the right you're going to have the alchemy bar and this is where they have some unique drink mixtures for you to try so if you want to up your game if you're having alcoholic drinks this is the place to do it this they have some very unique drinks here so as this is also right behind where this guy is doing some sort of game right now is where they have a lot of the live entertainment to the left here is a computer area i will say their computer service is rather slow so if there's something imperative you're needing to do like for me uploading a video you might want to wait until you can get on shore maybe even to one of these places like Cozumel and just sit someplace pay for their wi-fi it's usually a lot faster than what you're going to get on the ship so this is the casino area as you can see nobody's doing anything right now because i don't think they're allowed to by law when they are in port but at night, this place is full of people who are playing all of the machines. <laughs> Cherry on top. This is the candy store on the ship now remember if you do get candy you obviously have to pay for that they're going to charge it to your room but man they got some good stuff i've already been here i live in thailand so i miss a lot of american candy so i was in there getting swedish fish but they've got all kinds of stuff they also have their carnival store over here to my left so if there's any sort of souvenirs or anything you're wanting to get for your carnival cruise or you collect little ships of all the ships you've been on you can get those right here. Anyway, going further down, they do have a store, a fashion store for clothes and things like that. So no, that's here. And here is what it looks like over the top here. So you do have some live entertainment that's played there on that little platform where you see the speakers. And you've got some of your pretty elevators right here, which are really neat to see up and down when you go on because you know it's made out of glass and you can see everything. So that's pretty cool. And these are all the things so far on five. So also on the fifth deck is the Pig and Anchor Barbecue Smokehouse. Just keep in mind that this place is open very little. Matter of fact, when you're at a port, they are not open. So on the days at sea, they are open, but only for about two and a half hours. So you're gonna need to plan eating at this place strategically so you don't miss it but anyway i haven't had it yet i heard the barbecue is really good we're going to check it out real soon okay now we're on the fourth and this is the crimson restaurant so this is one of the restaurants that you can eat at you can easily see why it's called the crimson restaurant because it's done in red anyway the service here has been amazing the food's been amazing 
So here is Encore. This is where you're going to see all of the live performances at. And I mean to tell you, they're good. We, my wife and I watched one the other night and we're blown away. It was about 45 minutes long and it even, it felt too short. It was just so awesome. As you can see they got one killer venue here. The show we saw was the 80s theme. My wife and I both went to high school in the 80s so we were really enjoying that particular show. But anyway, you gotta check out Encore. They got shows quite often. Make sure you go to every single one of them because you will not be disappointed. If we go further on on this deck, you can see there you have a place called Circle C, which is for ages 12 through 14. Closed at the moment, can't really see through there, but let me see how much we can see. So an area for kids to have fun. And if we go down a little bit further, we are at Club 02, which is for ages 15 to 17. Again, closed. Well, let's see what we can see. So there is Club O, just so you know that that is there. So the room we have on this cruise is on Deck 2. So we have one of the interior cabins. That means we don't have a window, but that's not a problem. We, we like it dark when we sleep. And if we want to see what's going on outside, we'll just come up to the deck and check it out ourselves. Big room, and we really have a good night's sleep sleeping there. So we had three stops on this cruise, which was Costa Maya, and the second one being Mahogany Bay, which is in Roatan, Honduras, and then this one, which is Cozumel, Mexico. So hopefully the video was helpful. If you feel so inclined, buy us a coffee. We'd really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. We'd really appreciate that as well. Until next time, Thank you very much.